Welcome back to another Mind Test mod review. Today we are looking at the Balloon Blocks mod, which. Dun dun dun! Drum roll, please. Adds balloons. But, not really. So, what we get. Let's take a look first at our crafts and what's available. So, here is all of our different um, blocks we can craft. They all use the exact same recipe. So, you use any leaves to form this shape and then three pieces of dye to form the color that you want bada boom bada bing you can also as you see here mix oh this is a glowing one i don't want the glowing one didn't want to cover the glowing ones yet so it's all the same you can uh you can mix some of them so you can use yellow dye and a blue balloon to make a green balloon or you can use yellow balloon and blue dye to make a green balloon or you can do that and then there's glowing variants of all of them as well which can be crafted with the balloon and a torch um, in the case of the green one it looks like you can use a torch and some yellow dye with a blue balloon etc etc you get the idea so now what these are for um, and this is mostly if you have the fly privilege if you don't um, it's kind of a little less valuable oh I thought I had a give I guess I don't grant me give alright so what you can do is say you want to build a, a floating island up in the sky here um, I'm not super high up but it would still be annoying to have to make a stack of blocks all the way up and then you know dig them all down of course you could use ladders or some other things but it's so much easier if you can just go up in the sky there we go and I was trying to punch you right click with it and you could just place these blocks and what's really neato about these let me go up even higher and turn off fly. They're bouncy! So, you could say there was, um, I thought there was a mountain over there, but I don't see it anymore. Say there was a mountain someplace and you wanted to go about halfway off. You could just fall. Oh no, I, I wasn't looking straight enough. My bad. Let me try that again. It places three nodes in front of where you're at. And I must not have been pointing perfectly straight down because that didn't place underneath me. I did it before though. I'm positive of it. Yeah, give me one. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Maybe I was falling too fast. I'm not sure. Let's go up higher. Um, of course, if you were uh, playing someplace where you didn't have fly but there were other methods of flying such as gliders or rockets hot air balloons airplanes etc 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 oh i did not want to do that yet you could fly up into the sky someplace and then be like yeah i want to build a base up here because you know people wouldn't find it And you could do that. There, worth. Yeah, I must not have been looking straight down. Boing, 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 boing. Yay! And then there, there's also glowing variants available. So if I do and do time to like one thousand, you will see here we have a glowing pink balloon. Uh, evidently, I did not do glowing black balloons, which is kind of an oxy... Is oxymoron the right word? I don't know if it is. Oh, that's not a, glo a glowing one either. Because, like, it's dark, so could it actually glow? I don't think so. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't think black objects can actually glow. Or, like, really dark colors. I don't think it works. 
But that's neither here nor there. The fact of the matter remains. In the in the world of mind test, anything is possible. Now to show that these place three nodes away, I can uh, just do this. So it must be using like breakcast or something. I'm not exactly sure how it works to tell what three nodes away from you would be. Oh no. Ooh, thought I was gonna die. Of course, you could also use these for parkour if you were into that kind of thing, which if you've watched pretty much any amount of my videos, you will know I am not. So I won't be doing that in this video, but uh, you could do that if that was your thing. Um, yeah, that's, that's honestly about it. Uh, one thing that I should check because I didn't check this before. What happens? Yeah. What happens if you're uh, looking at the ground and you try to place one? Okay. So it places where you're pointing. Okay, that makes sense. So it must do a check to see if there's air. And if there is air. I don't know why this green one is. Oh, is that not a glowing one? I bet it. No, it's supposed. Oh. It wasn't. There we go. That's better. So if you're pointing at something, it just places it what you're pointing at. So theoretically, I can get further than three nodes by doing that. Okay, maybe I'm actually not getting any further. Okay, I can... I can just get the edge of that. Can I get the top of it? No, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to reach the top of it. Alright, so uh, evidently point range is about three nodes. That does make me wonder, though, is that... Okay, it looks like that is the the range regardless. So this isn't doing any kind of hacky stuff to change how far you can point when you're holding it. Which admittedly would kind of seem like overkill. You know... Um, yeah, I missed a zero in that. That's, that's pretty much it, honestly. They're blocks that you can place in the sky without having to build up a stack to them first, which is handy. And you can also, you know, use trampolines. So if you have, uh, oh, I don't know, a large drop, you can, you can use these at the bottom. So you can bounce on it. I mean, of course, in real life, a balloon would pop if you jumped on it. And if you had a super strong balloon like this that would hold your weight, you would probably still uh, probably still get hurt landing on it. But as you can see here, this uh, seems to negate all damage. Let me turn fast on. Grant me fast. You know, got to be thorough in our testing. Um, we are at, well, it's only about 600 nodes. We'll go up to 600. There we go. 610 nodes high. And I have just flown straight up. Let's see what happens when we fall down. I am hopeful, cautiously optimistic. Looks like no damage. And we bounced to 300. So we bounce about half of the height we fall. So this should get us up to about 150, 157. All right, all right. And again, and again. Um, this is kind of dangerous because you can't get off till you finish bouncing because you will definitely take some damage when you hit the ground. Uh, from this height, you'd probably be okay. And from this height, you, you definitely would. But there you go, the balloons. B balloons balloon bot balloon wow i can't talk today balloon blocks yes balloon blocks uh in a whole array of colors glowing and not glowing fly up into the sky using whatever method and then you can place a block and then you can start building 
and you don't have to build a tall tower from the ground up to the sky, saving you a bunch of time and saving the landscape from looking super ugly. Of course, then people can do things like this, where they just jump down from high, high places and place these, which then looks ugly instead. But, I mean, technically... I mean, I guess technically it's it's worse than what they could do otherwise because they have to do a stack. But this is only one node for an admin chaff to remove instead of a whole stack of nodes. I don't know. Your mileage may vary. I'm not here to say whether or not you should or shouldn't download a mod or use it or enable it or promote or not promote. I'm just here to review it. So that's my review. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another video, and I will see you then.